Good morning, how the devil are you guys? So uh, this message is a little bit late, the reason being is that we've had four kids overnight, uh, my sister's kids have been sleeping, so we've just packed them and got them off, and uh, wife's gone to work, and so I'm taking the kids to Scarborough to play in the UK, it's a little gamble as I am, preparing them for gambling. Right, uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, the later back page. We don't really do too many videos about the later back page, and I think it's underutilised, or certainly by myself probably as well, as much as anybody else. So for me, it's a really, 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 Oh, stop saying really. It's a very, very, <laughs> it's a very, very good page um, that I think that everybody should be using if you're a member of the software. Um, so later back, so we just press later back here. And by the way, let's go through the settings first of all. So these settings are basically saying, show me horses that have never dobbed. On the later back ones, this means never dobbed. So I'm saying, I don't want to see horses that have dobbed. So, so in the last three runnings, uh, the criteria is show me horses that haven't dobbed in the last three runnings. Um, you can obviously change this to more. You can change this to less as well. Um, display today. The green and gold, very, very interesting. I'm saying on the gold, show me horses that haven't decreased in price by more than 10%. Show me horses that haven't decreased in price by more than 10%. And show me horses here that haven't decreased in price by more than 20% of the horses that haven't dobbed in the last three runnings. Hopefully, I've explained it well. I feel like I have done. Um, so I've run the report, and these are the horses that have never dobbed in the last three runnings. As you can see, dob percentage is nothing there. So we know that these haven't dobbed, and so that is useful information for us moving forward. We also have the average difference there. Um, it's a new column, but we've only just uh, started yesterday. Average uh, difference or average decrease, sorry, it's average decrease. Average decrease means the average the horse has decreased. What percentage in the last... I think it's five runnings. Um, yeah, it's five runnings. Has this horse decreased? What is the percentage this horse has decreased in the last five runnings? And this one has decreased on average by 31%. So you can sort it by that as well if you want. You can do so many different things now. And like I said, we keep improving this software all the time. This one has only decreased. Mind you, look at the price. It's 75.56 or 75. So it's not really worth it. That one has decreased by 10. So it's not really 10%. So it's not really worth it on average. A thousand. This one has only decreased by 13. Actually, this one is the one I've been looking at today. Uh, this meets my criteria. 100% of the time, it's hit my gold column in the last three runs. So what's my gold column? 20%. So this horse has not decreased in price by more than 20% in the last three runs. It's also, in the last five runs, got an average decrease of just 13%. That's incredible. It's hit... The gold column, the gold column, I always get confused because it's yellow to me, right? It's hit the yellow column, which means it hasn't decreased in price in the last five runnings by more than 10% two of the last three runs. So this one is the one that I'm looking at today for a later back. As you can see, there's so many different later backs. There's absolutely loads that you can go through. Um, and like I say, later backs is possibly the safest way to trade as long as you get your stop loss right. Getting your stop loss right is the way for that is definitely the key to trading later back. So we've done a trading on manual stop loss as well. As soon as the software is able to take bets, actually put your bets on through the uh, Betfair interface, and I will do a trading on the stop loss in that, because obviously there's a, there's a stop loss involved in the software as well. So this is the one for me, 410, uh, straight run. I think it's how you spell it. I'm terrible at reading, as you guys know. I'm absolutely useless. There's no point in pretending otherwise. So as we can see here, it's decreased by 4.35%. Uh, it hasn't decreased at all here, and it has gone down 10.34%. So it's nearly 100% on the gold, only by 0.34%. So as you can see, one tick, it's went up two ticks, and three ticks down. So it doesn't decrease in price very much at all. Midfield pushed along and lost pace, and the price was 23 is there. Here, held up some headway, three out, but never able to trouble leaders. In touch, ridden along, and outpaced after three out. Never a threat. I mean, these are beautiful. These are beautiful comments in running for a horse that held up, not fluent fifth, never threatened. Ah, oh, he's just beautiful. Here, close up, ridden, and every chance, weakened. Went down 24 ticks. That was that was some time ago. It was last year, um, a 23rd of April, so it was last season. So um, you always got to do, do your research, but at the minute, this one looks perfect for me for a later back. Uh, the last three runs are the ones I'm primarily interested in, although I will go back further, four and five. That one, if anything, probably is your only down point here, um, but 
two four isn't massive at all. Um, but yeah, it's I suppose that's a part of a bit of a negative for it. But the last three runnings only gone down one tick, two ticks, and three ticks, which is crazy, and eight ticks in that one as well. So I would recommend to do a later back on this one and to go for twenty to thirty percent profit of your stake and put a stop loss in. Make sure you don't lose too much money if the horse is close up, because as you can see here, midfield and um, when it did run well, it was close up and chase winner. So if it, is, if it is close up, if it's not performing the way we expect it to perform, if the tactics are different, then hell, do you know what? Just get out. Just get out of your trade because the whole point of this trade is that we're trading because we believe this horse is going to be midfield or worse. If it's not midfield or worse, then just get out of your trade straight away. There's no point in hanging around to meet your stop loss. Just get out because the research we've done is on the fact that it's held up. The fact that it's held up. When it's gone close up, here yeah, it has traded, has traded not not considerably lower, but low enough to, to worry us. And we don't want to be worried. The idea is here that it's as frictionless as possible for us. We're in the market, we're out the market as quick as we possibly can do. And if it's close up, then that will hold the price up and it won't be drifting. And the idea is that we want to see the drift straight away. And if we don't, let's get out. Let's cut our losses or take a small profit or whatever it is. Either way, there's not much in there's not much difference, variance either way. It's either a small profit or a small loss. But if it is close up or closer than midfield, then let's just get out. So we're basing our opinion on the fact that this horse will be held up or midfield. Right, I hope that's been uh, handy for you guys. The latest back page. Out, Your out, dude. Out of, out of the <laughs> Where's your manners? Always oh, use manners. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up, guys, and I'm going to make this little on a cup of tea. We're off to Scarborough now to play in the UKs and cheer the horses on and uh, go on the go-karts. I love the go-karts. All right, guys, girls, have an amazing day, and good luck whatever you're doing today trading. I will be back tomorrow for another video, but you can't wait. <laughs> have a great day. Bye. Have a great, What? Have a great day. Bye. <laughs> See you soon.